is the Victorian Labor MP, Will Fowles, uh, who's been in a bit of hot water today after, I don't know, do we still say allegedly, breaking down a door at a Canberra hotel room. We've just received a statement from the member for Burwood, Will Fowles. He's a Victorian MP, state MP. I unreservedly apologise to the staff uh, at the Abode Hotel, that's here in Canberra, uh, to my constituents, my parliamentary colleagues and my family for my appalling behaviour in Canberra earlier today. What happened is unacceptable and I'm deeply ashamed of my actions. While there are reasons for it, there are no excuses. Now, here are the reasons. He says, I have for a long time been dealing with addiction and other mental health issues. Medication I take was in my luggage, which was locked in a room that I was not able to access as no staff were on site. I'll, of course, pay for all damages. I've recently undertaken a course of drug and alcohol counselling and I now get the treatment I need to become a better person. I've let myself down and badly let down those who've supported me. I know how hard I have to work to rebuild the trust people have placed in me. I will take a leave of absence to properly deal with my health issues. I was in Canberra to attend the first speeches in support of my Victorian colleagues and the trip was privately funded. So, Tom, he couldn't get the bag out of the hotel. He had mm. a flight to catch and no-one was at reception, so he obviously lost his cool and decided to kick down the door. The reasons he's now given this afternoon as he takes this leave of absence to deal with health issues, uh, he's referred there to mental health, he's referred there to addiction uh, and he's talked to a, a course on drug and alcohol counselling. It sounds like a, a difficult combination of issues there yeah. that uh, he's blaming, at least, for his behaviour. Look, I think at this stage you've probably got to take that at face value. Um, pretty, uh, pretty ugly incident, obviously, um, and, and uh, all the best to him, I suppose. I mean, what else can you do but take that at face value? It was obviously a, a, a situation that didn't reflect all that well on him, but, um, uh, look, he, you could tell he was much chagrined by the time he got back to Melbourne Airport there and... Uh, Yep, obviously wish, feeling wish it. it never happened, obviously sure. feeling it uh, now. Uh, look, as we heard a little earlier today, um, obviously a disturbing incident for those at the hotel at the time, uh, and security and police called in and all that. Interesting, they blocked the uh, one of the there was a um, impromptu snapper there, and that uh, I saw at one stage. I think the police had held up something in the way, so they couldn't take any photographs. But no need for that. Um, allowed to, aren't they? Oh, even exactly. no need for the police. Is that what you're That's saying? That's what I'm saying. Right, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, all for transparency. Anyway, we've seen plenty of those pictures today and now he's taking a leave of absence.